Hey there, Randy and Jason Sklar here for another episode of The Trailer. And this week's trailer, Mad Max Fury Road, is, dare I say, a two minute and 30 second masterpiece. So fashion your seatbelts on your desert all-terrain vehicles, conserve as much water as you can, put on your half mask made of human teeth, because we are all going to hell in a handbasket along with Charlize Theron and her dirty bald head. This, this is, is The Trailer. trailer. Now, we've seen a bunch of trailers for this show, and we really have loved them all. But this trailer reaches into our souls, asks us the tough life questions, and piques our interest to no end. And I am not joking. I want to see this movie like now. I'm serious, Randy. Right okay, now, well, I want to do the show. We, the we movie. literally have to do this show, so you can see it afterwards. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to save all the water I can, because I don't ever want to live in a desert world, let alone one that has prisons up in rock formations that make you hallucinate faces of small dead children. Worst burning Man ever. Or the best, depending on what kind of trip you're looking to take, bruh. The idea of being chased by a bunch of bald albino P90X dudes is not my idea of a fun trip. Well, for Max, he claims that a man will be reduced to a single instinct. Survive. I think he meant to say survival, but he is being chased by four albino P90X dudes who want to kill him, so we're gonna let that slide. This trailer at times can be more cryptic than a Mariah Carey tweet, but I don't care. I'm captivated by every single word spoken by the evil leader, Immortan Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Immortan Joe? It's the future and the past all rolled up into creepy charred teeth masks, which I'm gonna assume are futuristic mouth guards. Yeah, it's probably gonna be really hard to get a dentist appointment in the dystopian apocalyptic desert future. Oh look, a waterfall. Well, that seems fun. I take that back, not fun, not fun. In this film, Mad Max must try and take a skinheaded Charlize Theron across the desert after she's stolen something very precious from a Morton Joe. Where, Where did, did you come, come from? from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, a Morton Joe? Okay, you gotta stop showing that. Please! We've gotta stop singing that. Yeah, please. please. She's stolen the five women who have been kept by this Immortan gang to birth the next generation of pale, crazy teeth mask wearers. Where is she taking them? To a water park, presumably. Sand safe, we got ourselves a sand safe. Now, if that were me opening that thing, I'd be like, wait, how many clicks to the left? Is it three to the left, six to the right, four to the left? Or is it three to the left, four to the right, six to the left? Just write it down. On what? On all the paper lying around in the dystopian desert? No, on a brand that you can then put on the back of someone's neck. Oh, thank you. Honestly, if there wasn't a dude strapped to the front of one of these off-road vehicles with a metal mouth mask trying to break free, this could be a really fun desert romp, like a dustier, deadlier cannonball run. There's just a ton of driving and shooting, and then some shooting and driving, and just a blatant disregard for seatbelts. God, I hope one of them has insurance. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Hey, someone's an optimist. You wanna get through this? Let's go! Uh, no. We wanna stick around and be the property of some crazy dude with a human tooth mask forever. Yeah, we want to get through this. I just love that even though people are getting sliced in half and desert vehicles are running down and over other desert vehicles and monster-like dudes are emerging from the sand, they still have time to lay down a little motivational drum line. And don't forget the Kiss tribute ban on wheels. Sweet pyro, Ace Freely. I want to see Mad Max Fury Road just to see if Mad Max and the dirty bald-headed Charlize Theron can outrun these crazy pasty dudes. And I want to see it right now. You Randy. can, Jay, you can. And just click on the Regal Cinema ticket link down below us. All of you go do the same. From this trailer, it looks like one of the coolest movies I will ever see in a long, 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 long time. And subscribe to this YouTube channel in the comment section below. Tell us what year you think we all will devolve into a society where people wear half masks, become pasty white dudes and women, and drive like maniacs amidst desert explosions. Until the next time, happy trailers, guys. Happy trailers. How do we know that isn't a sleep apnea mask? What, that they're wearing? Yeah. Maybe it's just like, I'm trying to be considerate to my desert partner that I'm not I'm trying snoring. not to snore in there. You know how bad it is in the desert? You get those dark black boogers in your nose. Hey, you know who created the desert apnea teeth mask? Who is that? A Morton Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? A Morton Joe.